Hello and welcome to Z3 News. I'm James Bailey and today is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. And today I'm going to be sharing more details to give us more clarity regarding the trouble that's coming to our land, to America, as well as the rest of the world between now and March of 2021. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, please see my podcast from July 10th, just five days ago, in which I provided an overview and a lot of prophetic confirmations regarding the financial aspects of what is coming, which is going to be a global economic collapse. But this event, these events coming over these next months will be much more than just financial and economic. And so I'm sharing more about that today. And I'm starting with a 11 second clip from professional violinist Maurice Scalar, because on July 1st, at midnight on July 1st, he received a prophetic vision, actually a series of visions. And I think it's significant that he received that at midnight. It was the midnight hour, and God gave him a great revelation, insights into these events that are coming, and I provided a 19-and-a-half-minute uh, clip of what he saw in uh, yesterday. I published that yesterday on Z3News.com, but today I just want to show you an 11-second clip because he made a really important point uh, about what's ahead in the next 30 to 60 days. There's, there's another level that will come towards the end of the summer of, of increase of these birth pangs, and then there's another one when we hit September. All right, so if you've been following this story, starting with the prophetic dreams received by Pastor Dana Coverstone from Living Word Fellowship in Burksville, Kentucky, he specifically saw the months of September and November highlighted to him in a prophetic dream. And if you missed that one, it's also posted on Z3news.com. Now we have Maurice Scalar giving us an additional insight that towards the end of the summer, there will be trouble. There will be an increase in the birth pangs that are coming. And this is prior to September because he says that in September, it will increase more than that. And since it's already the middle of July, we're just six weeks away from the start of September, which means these events that Maurice is identifying as towards the end of the summer are very close. Now, God has not shown me exactly what it is that he's referring to, but I did receive a prophetic dream back in April, and that was specifically on April the 24th when I posted it on Z3 News. I think I'd received it the day before. But in this dream, I saw a big drop ahead in equities markets. But the point is, this dream revealed an upcoming military event. It was a military event that caused the markets to drop. And I was in the dream. I was suspended way up in the air uh, inside of a large military complex, a facility that looked like a, a airport hangar or, or warehouse. And it was filled with U.S. military soldiers. It had a bay door that was open. And I could see straight down. We were suspended a thousands of feet above the ocean. And when you look down from this structure, it was very intimidating and scary because the water below was treacherous. And so I watched as these soldiers were walking back and forth in this facility and they were preparing. They were all getting their gear ready and they were uh, preparing to do a big drop down, straight down to the water. And so there, the dream is showing a connection uh, between something related to the U.S. military that's going to cause markets to drop straight down. Now, I wasn't shown the timing, but I have reason to believe it could be 
coming very soon. It could be what Maurice is describing as coming prior to September. Now, in my dream, the fact that the soldiers were preparing, they were getting things ready. So back in April, it wasn't time for this event quite yet. So God was just revealing that it's coming and it's going to have a big impact on the markets. And separately, just about a week or so ago, I had a prophetic vision in which I saw a man holding his right ear and he was looking down at the ground and his face looked like a picture of anguish, total anguish. And so uh, he was looking to my right and holding his right ear with his right hand. And so I understood from that that this vision was showing me this man represents market buyers because in prophetic trading visions, men represent buyers, women represent sellers. So in this case, this was a man, so it's a buyer, but the buyer was in anguish and he's looking to my right. Now the right side represents drops in the market because as you watch the price line on a graph, when it turns to the right, it's going down. When it turns to the left, it's going up. And so this man was looking to the right, holding his right ear with his right hand, and he's in anguish because he heard news. There was a news release that came into his hearing that caused a sudden drop in the markets that caused this man anguish because he's losing money. And so that's my interpretation of what I saw, and I believe it's related to this other event in which the soldiers were getting ready. And I believe this event is drawing near because already there are reports over the last two weeks of mysterious explosions in Iran causing fires on ships as well as explosions near their military bases. As you can see from these video clips that I'm showing here, uh, this, this is footage from Iran and this has been going on now for a couple of weeks and these events could be the early indications of some kind of military conflict, possibly in the Middle East. I'm not sure. I wasn't shown. But because Iran is involved in these explosions, and there has been a lot of rhetoric in recent years aimed toward Iran, I suspect that might be where this thing is coming from. But we'll find out. I think we're going to find out relatively soon here if this is the event that Maurice saw. And if it is, then I believe the anguish that I saw on the face of that man is revealing what's coming to anyone who has uh, investments in equities as they watch the value drop fast. And in my previous podcast, when I uh, provided a schedule of events over the next nine months, I mentioned that if this schedule is correct, then we should see, prior to uh, September 25th, we should see a sharp drop in the markets that recovers somewhat going in toward the end of September uh, to set the stage for what's ahead from that point forward. And so now I want to share with you a very powerful prophetic dream that was given to Charles Turner III, who is a senior pastor of New Hope International Ministries Worship Center, which is located near Miami, Florida. And in this dream, Charles is not only confirming the events as revealed to several others, as I've shared previously, but he is also giving new insights, very valuable insights, specifically uh, regarding the presence of foreign troops on U.S. soil, which I think every American will be interested in hearing more about. And so here is a 12-minute clip of Pastor Charles Turner sharing his dream, which he received on June the 30th, about two weeks ago. Um, in the dream, 
it was, it was a dream dealing with America. And I saw three pastors. I don't know these pastors. I, I could not identify them. I cannot even tell you what their nationality was. But one thing was clear is these pastors knew each other. They were connected, but they weren't talking to each other. Each pastor, strangely, was sitting in a chair. The chair looked very royal. It was a royal looking seat as if a king would be sitting in a type of chair like this. And all three of these pastors were separated from each other uh, and they were high up. I'm going to say probably close to 15 feet above a normal stature of a man that would maybe five, eight, five, nine, six feet or what have you. And they were sitting very quiet, not moving. And they each in their right hand had a torch and each of the torches had fire just extending from this. In the dream, I was there and I was sitting behind. If you can understand, if you're facing uh, this, these three pastors that were sitting, they were elevated. They were not sitting on any floor. There was no floor. They were elevated as if to say in the air. And beneath them were masses of people. These pastors were not gigantic, but they, they were normal looking like human beings that were elevated. Their chairs were sitting on pure air. Four, four legs on each chair and beneath them, I saw massive amounts of people and it was, it was dark and I can hear noises of, of just people moving. And clearly I understood in the dream that there was pandemonium, there was panic, there was turmoil, there was chaos. And the people were yelling at each other. People were arguing with each other. People were calling each other names and it, it just got so violent. And I leaned behind well, the, the three seated pastors and I said in my heart, why aren't these pastors saying anything? They were completely still looking straight ahead, not looking down at the people, looking straight ahead, holding these torches that were just flashing fire from each of the torches. And I have the understanding that the, these three were connected and they were strategically sitting in three separate areas of the United States, all, all, and they, their chairs were just barely high, probably about 15 feet in air or so. I, I don't know that I understand what I saw, but all of a sudden, when I kept saying in my heart, these, these pastors, I don't understand why they're not saying anything to the people, there's chaos down there. And because they didn't, I said in my heart, I need to go get my wife, I need to make sure my wife is okay. And right when I made that decision, I heard people robbing each other. They were breaking into each other's homes. People were trying to steal things from cars on the street. People were stealing food. People were, were absolutely trying to take things from each other and they were doing it by force and willing to die for it. And all of a sudden I looked at it and I said, what is going on? I grabbed my hand and I said, what is going on? And all of a sudden above me, I heard a loud voice say bloodshed. And as soon as I heard that voice, immediately people were shooting each other. They, they were carrying guns in the street. There was no police anywhere to police this issue or to bring order. It was complete chaos of what was going on. I, and I did not understand this. And, and it just freaked me out so bad. And all of a sudden my eyes popped open from sleep. And when my eyes popped open, I was so disturbed with, with, with what I saw. And I said, Lord, what is this? And immediately I started praying and, it, and I looked at the clock. It was 3 a.m. in the morning. I knew that my wife had to get up early. And so I thought, I'll just wait to help her so she can get situated when she gets up early and, and um, just try to reason what I had just seen. And somehow, some way, in the midst of my disturbance, I fell asleep again. When I fell asleep again, I saw the same three pastors. This time they were bigger and they were higher. I saw the people, it was dark, there were no lights. People were trying to find lights and there was no lights to find anything. And because of the darkness, the incapability to get any lighted areas, 
Pandemonia broke out. Hysteria broke out. I saw people arguing in parking lots, shooting each other. I saw people in, in neighborhoods standing out in front of their houses, shooting each other. It was crazy what I saw with this. I, I was so disturbed. And I looked up and I said, God, please help us. Please help this chaos that is going on. And all of a sudden, I saw China and Russia coming into the United States of America. I, I don't know that I understand it, but they, they were military. They were uh, uh, soldiers. And they were coming in to maintain the peace. I don't, I don't know where the U.S. military was or anything like this, but they were coming in and what they were doing was putting people in concentration camps. They were arresting people. Chinese soldiers and Russian soldiers were arresting people and they were taking guns from everybody. I, I grabbed my face and I said, what? I said, what are Chinese soldiers and Russian soldiers doing in America? As soon as I asked that question in the dream, immediately I heard the Lord shout and he said, September, October, November. He said, warn the people. And I woke up. Everybody, let me tell you something. All day that day, we had to get prepared for Bible study. I was very quiet. I, I told Marilyn, you need to teach tonight. I'm, I'm in no condition to teach Bible study. Thank God I have a powerful woman of God that is a praying person. She's a wonderful teacher. So she taught Bible study on July 1st. During that day, when I got up in the morning on July 1st, I'm having this dream. I immediately ran to my office and started praying, asking God for the interpretation. And he gave it to me. Hear the word of the Lord. The three pastors represent the Trinity of God. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In the middle was a pastor representing Christ. Why pastors? Because pastors are to speak the word of God, teach the people preach to the people about the forthcoming of Christ. But there was dead silence from these pastors. On purpose, they had no intention of speaking. But God let me know this represents the Trinity where it is right now. There's not being given speech to pastors right now for the normal conditions of preaching. I had the clear understanding from God that this Trinity why these men were holding the scepters with fire in there was to show to the people because there were Christians also out there, down there in the chaos, fighting violence, trying to survive, protecting their homes, shooting. And I had the understanding that the Lord had the, these fires to let them know he is still able to solve this problem if the people will turn to him. And so because no one was turning to these pastors, no one was turning to them, no one would look up. The fire was there in case someone would so they would know the way. This is the interpretation that God gave me of that. But he also let me know that September, October, and November are going to be months of great turmoil in the country. Great disturbance. Isn't it interesting that this is also the time when the heat of the election will begin to really aspire? The activities will begin to really become aggressive because the election is taking place in November. The Lord told me to tell the people, turn to him now. Come to the Lord. I feel very led to tell you people are going to die. There's going to be shootings. There's going to be robbings. I saw stores literally out of food. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just telling you with this drink. I don't get like this normally unless the Lord is dealing with me. And the, the situation is, is really dire straight. 
This country's on the verge, just a pin drop, and we're in a civil war. Some of the things that are going on with all the racial hostility, all of the massive hatred. Yet progress is being made to some degree, but on the local levels with the common people, there is still rigid aggression of racial injustice, racial prejudice, racial anxiety. People are nervous. People are afraid. And it just broke. For some reason, something set this off and it started slow in September and moved to, a, to an outright pandemonia, chaos, turmoil taking place in the country. And, and in this dream, somehow I have the understanding that President Trump just was not in power to, to take control of the thing. He was restricted, completely handcuffed with his authority to do anything. This is the understanding that I had. And man, this dream was so real. It just really troubled me at, at what I saw. I saw black, whites, Asian, purple, all kind of people just and adversarial to each other. Outright like a, a like it was a war zone. Okay, so that is a very powerful testimony, prophetic dream. And that's about 12 minutes of it. The total uh, uploaded message from the pastor was about twice that long, about 24 minutes. And I'm providing a link to that if anyone wants to watch the full uh, message. I just took what I felt were the most important points that were revealing upcoming events. And personally, I thought his testimony was very believable. He's a leader, a senior pastor. I did not include it in these clips, but he does mention that he's had several other significant prophetic dreams in the past that have been fulfilled. And I believe his dream is very significant, not only in confirming other prophetic dreams, but also in showing the sequence of events that begins with first robbing and looting. And he specifically mentions the reason people were robbing and looting in at least some of those cases was they're looking for food. People are hungry. And so that confirms other reports of food shortages. But he then sees an escalation. He hears a voice say bloodshed. And immediately after that, he sees people shooting each other, including people in their neighborhoods. And so that reveals that these events will not be limited to major metro areas, downtown areas, but it's also going into the suburban residential areas. And that is another confirmation. John Paul Jackson specifically talked about mobs violent mobs going into affluent residential areas and looting and actually destroying homes. And Pastor Turner said the people were trying to find lights. And there have been reports that power outages will be part of these upcoming events. And the reason why I did not mention power outages in my previous podcast is because I didn't have anything revealing the timing, specifically uh, putting it in this time period. But when I heard Pastor Turner mention people trying to find lights, I thought maybe that could be what he's seeing. On the other hand, it might be something totally different. I don't know. And Pastor Turner saw, like Dana Coverstone saw, and like Maurice Scalar saw, foreign soldiers, specifically Russian and Chinese soldiers in the United States, along with Blue Helmet UN troops, he saw them coming into the United States for the purpose of securing peace, bringing an end to the civil unrest 
the chaos that was spreading across our nation. And so they come in under the guise as being good guys. And so now I want to refer back to what Pastor Dana Coverstone saw and Marie Sklar saw, that these events were planned behind closed doors in secret meetings. It was part of an orchestrated series of events for a specific purpose. And when it comes to these troops on U.S. soil, uh, especially Russian and Chinese troops, I believe this is part of the plan for the purpose of indoctrinating the American public to convince us to uh, forget our nationalistic sentiments and to, to have a new appreciation for the United Nations and how we need our global economy, our global uh, partners. And so I believe the plan is to allow these events to spiral out of control, to continue to escalate to the point that Pastor Turner described it as war. It's going to feel like our, our nation has turned into a war zone. And meanwhile, in the midst of all that chaos and confusion, and in the midst of all that he saw the same thing others have seen, that there was no leadership coming from our federal government. There was no voice. President Trump was silent for whatever reason. But I believe that's part of the plan to allow the American people to sink into total despair, to feel totally helpless, and so that when these UN troops and Russian and Chinese troops are brought onto our land, that the American public will welcome it as a good thing. And Pastor Turner specifically identified that they're going to be arresting people. They're going to be putting people in concentration camps and confiscating their guns. And because of the larger context of their purpose for being here, squelching this violence and chaos, I believe that will be the focus of their efforts. I don't believe they're going to randomly go door to door arresting innocent American citizens, pulling them out of their homes and putting them in concentration camps, or going door to door confiscating guns from every American citizen. I don't believe that's part of this plan because it just doesn't fit the purpose for their mission, the purpose for their being here. And also, I saw in a separate dream, I saw a blonde-haired woman leading a national campaign in America to confiscate weapons. And so there would be no need for that if it was already being done by foreign soldiers. And Pastor Turner was given a specific window of time. He was told September, October, November. And not only does that confirm the timing that everyone else has been sharing, but it again, it is right before the election. And I believe the reason for that timing is pretty obvious, because for the past several years, there has been a concerted effort underway through the media and through orchestrated events to divide the American people against one another, and they're simply stirring this up to a fever pitch right ahead of the elections, and then the election itself is likely to be the most confusing, most infuriating uh, election results ever, and I will be doing a separate podcast just on that topic. And with so much gloomy news here, I wanted to end the program today by sharing with you a prophetic dream that was sent to me today by email from a Z3-er named Pam McAllister, and she received this dream about a month ago, and I'm sharing it with you because I believe she heard correctly, because she's not only confirming what I've personally been shown, she's also confirming what John Finn was shown, which I shared in my previous podcast, but John Finn saw that our nation would begin to come out of this time of trouble in about March of 2021. 
which means these things are not going to take our nation out. This is not the end of the United States of America. There are many more days to come for our nation. We will get through this. So here is a two-minute clip of Pam McAllister's dream read by my computer friend, Joanna. I wanted to share a dream I had about a month ago. It was a very short dream. It was night out so it was dark. I was at a place where there was a tall flagpole in the middle of a green grassy circle in the middle of a driveway that went around the grass and pole area. This area was lit with bright lights. I noticed there were several people around it, and they were working together. Somehow there was a flag at the top of the pole, making snapping sounds due to a strong breeze. It was not the United States flag but the flag of some other nation. As I watched, these people all worked together to use the ropes to bring the flag down. They snatched it off the rope and it was gone. But then another flag representing a different nation appeared at the top of the pole, and these same people repeated their efforts to drag that flag down the pole with the ropes. Then they ripped it off the rope like before. This same sequence kept repeating with flag after flag from nation after nation and they kept taking them down one by one. I didn't recognize any specific country's flag until it got to the United States flag. I saw them begin to lower it as they had lowered all the others, but suddenly, it stopped. Halfway down, it stopped. At first, they simply began to tug harder. Then, more people came to assist them as they pulled as hard as they could to get it all the way down. But they couldn't get it down, and it was stuck halfway up the mast. Then, I woke up. I knew from the dream they were systematically dismantling the sovereignty of nations. This is no secret, really. But what got my attention was the United States flag getting stuck. I felt the Lord saying we need to pray while we have time to do so. This was the paramount message I heard from this dream. After I thought through it again a while later, it occurred to me that our flag stuck at half-mast perhaps represented a time of mourning since that's what we typically do in times of mourning. In this dream, it didn't seem to me that this was what the Lord was saying, but when I went back over it, it didn't escape my notice that our nation's flag was at half-mast, stuck there. I see the discouragement of our times on the faces of so many around me. We need to keep moving forward in our faith walk, keep up the pace with our Lord Jesus Christ, and keep praying, for we have no idea how important our prayers are. Our prayers may not save our nation in the end, but our prayers for our inheritance of the nations will be precious for the salvation of souls. Thank you, Pam, for sharing your dream. I found it so encouraging that our flag could not be brought down. Glory to God. We may go through a lot of trouble in the days ahead, but thank God we can rest assured that we're coming out of it on the other side. It's not over yet for the United States of America. And I like what she said at the end because it's not time for us to be in despair either. Our circumstances do not dictate to us our level of joy or peace or faith or confidence or anything else. No, our confidence is in the invisible realm, in the unseen God who is unmovable, unshakable. And he has not changed, and he will not be changing next week or next month or next six months or whatever. We're going through it with a faithful God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. We're coming out of it on the other side, stronger, wiser than ever before. And we will be ready for the days ahead, whatever comes our way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.